Okay, uh, here we are again, a new day, a new project. In fact, it's a test, you know, and I'm trying a new setup. I bought a cheap webcam. Well, doesn't look too good, isn't that? <laughs> but anyway, I'm just trying to test this uh, new way of uh, having the shootings in my computer. You see, a few weeks ago, I had this um, little device. It's a subwoofer filter and I was trying to understand how it's working. I'm using a spectrum analyzer to see some frequencies and stuff like that. And in the meantime, I bought me another two models. You see this one here, it's the one inside the, the case. Uh, if you remember, we already put that together. And uh, this is a Jing Gong. There is a video about this up there just and the schematic also. And here I have another model. And uh, this one it's uh, with two NE5532P and uh, it needs two times 12 volts for working. Same story, frequency and volume. And uh, there is another model with uh, T0727CKF1XT circuits this is much more compact probably different uh, design and this uh, it's named subwoofer filter xzd revision 2 probably volume and frequency and what's interesting about this it have a phase shift in fact okay we'll see about that you know the first thing what i want to do today is to recheck this guy with the new spectral analyzer yeah and this is the guy I'm talking about. Now I have the input from my uh, Sapphire Pro 40 connected to a RME DSP 9652 sound card. It's a professional sound card. You see, I got the signal here on the tip of this and we can watch the fragrances there. Very nice and clear. Let me connect this. Uh, it's already catching something there. This is a 50 Hertz from the cables around and we are going up to 20 kilohertz. Of course, we'll watch this area mostly. The input is coming in here. Here I have 12 volts in. Yes, it's working. I can see the blue LED over there. I have this old mobile running a function generator. Okay, we have a 440 hertz here. I don't want to have that. I want to change the frequency, enter a higher value like 20,000 hertz. 20,000 hertz now. So this is at the end of the audio scale. And of course, as we can see here, the human perceived frequency on a logarithm scale, which makes pink noise a better choice for measurements or references related to human perception for sound. So we'll use a pink signal okay now the signal of the filter it's at the bottom low as low as possible this area it's going really really down i think you hear the noise okay so finally we are using pink noise which is closer to the human ear perception. This is the top, the highest frequency filter passing. So you can see it's cutting everything higher than 500 Hertz. It should be 200 and something. But anyway, this is minus 60. You know, we have to look at these levels here, minus 40 or something. This is the real uh, stuff we are interested in. All this front here is going down and down and down and down. And now, as you can see, the leftover is something very abruptly cutting that, but in the same time, the amplitude is getting down. That's it for this particular model of uh, filter. Let me turn this off because now uh, I have to take this out. The output everything so this is the first model I'm gonna test this one but for this guy 
we need differential power supply, which of course I have it. Plant it here. And this should be plus power on. Of course, why not? Yeah, we got power. Input doesn't really matter if it's left or right because they are anyway the signals are getting mixed. You see this small car you're seeing here is from Rosin. I'm always using Rosin. It's a perfect flux. Okay, that's the output. We can connect it already. There we go. Volume up and a signal in. These are residual things, but the software, it's uh, gaining by itself, so I don't like that. I don't want that. Settings, top L, range, auto. This is better. <clears throat> I don't want to jump to compensate the gain. Ready to go? Power on. So, what's this? That's the frequency, and this is the volume. But you know something? Let me have some extra gain. Minus 20, minus 40, no, too much, minus 30. Perfect, now we can see it much better. This is the volume, of course, and this is the frequency, what we got here. So this is the up top. Oh, I can say it's much more accurate. Can we hear that? Somehow I can say this one is doing a much better job. Look at the look at the front here. It's much more accurate, and we have this middle uh, around 80 hertz. Okay, so this is the full band, starting from. 200 here and going down it keeps somehow the amplitude and now we are at the bottom of the range yes it's much more accurate than the the first model we checked no doubt about that. No doubt. Can we hear some music? is clear all right so let's have the last model hooked 12 volts ready to be applied to this guy here we have two operationals t072 here I have 12 volts it should be power on and we got power that should be the output and that should be the input. After my opinion, 
This one is looking okay, but I don't have enough gain. Maybe it's my volume here. Let's put it higher a little bit. Minus 30, like that. And here we have, that's the volume. And this is the frequency. And I may say, okay, let me go higher. Uh, let's go on auto. There we go. I love this curve here. It's catching a little bit of 800 hertz. But then lowering the frequency, it's narrow and narrow. But somehow I can say that this area here between 80 and 31 hertz, it's kind of stable. All right. Now let's have some music. I think this is the end of the experiment, my dear people, and uh, you can see it very clear. This one is doing a really nice job musically, and uh, you can see the filter, it's working pretty well in, uh, in the parameters, you know, in the specification. I may say it's not going higher than around 300 hertz or something 150 300 anyway 
So this uh, particular model, I think it should be your choice if you want to have a, a good filter for a subwoofer. And uh, my decision will be the same, even if uh, it's necessary a uh, differential power supply. And this is FE sub zero one. So far, it's the best, uh, the best kit ever. Okay, what can I say? I hope uh, my little test is useful. And like always, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And first of all, you know, have fun. See you soon. Bye bye.